What's up, y'all? Let's get straight into it. Now, I've been really surprised about something. But then again, I haven't. I haven't seen the level of coverage I would like to see on NBA Youngboy and Fred O'Bain ending their beef and squashing things. They squashed it enough to come together to give back to the community and give back to the kids during Christmas time. Shouts out to those media outlets, social media outlets, YouTubers, bloggers, everybody who covered that story. But I didn't see them covering the mainstream media because you know they do cover hip hop. When there's beef going on, they've been talking about this beef for the longest in mainstream media. They've been talking about the alleged killings on both sides. But with these two young men, young bosses, young pharaohs come together to squash their beef, all these media outlets are silent. I'm not surprised by that. I got a feeling right now the music industry is turning on its head and so confused and so frightened by them squashing the beef. It's simple, negativity sells. They'll rather see Fredo Bang and NBA Youngboy kill each other or members of their camps kill each other or different people from their families end up dead behind this for record sales to keep it going. That don't bother you? Now even they record labels came out and congratulate them for any of that beef? No. I think they hot right now. They're afraid of sales going down. And let me give you something else. There's plenty to talk about with this story. I know how the algorithms work. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't chase algorithms. I just chase the truth. I know you cover positive stories. The algorithms go down. But look at the possibilities here. Let's think about how big this is. You had other major rappers out of Baton Rouge just kind of staying neutral, not picking a side. Because they didn't want to get caught in the middle of it. But now they don't have to worry about picking a side. They can all come together as one. The powers of B are afraid of that. Like Big Home say over there at the Big Fest podcast, that golf course, the plan is being shattered. You know why? That golf course right now is feeling the earth move up under them because God is moving. You know what I'm saying? And I got some advice for NBA Youngboy and Fredo Bang. First of all, congratulations on ending that beat, gentlemen. I hope y'all keep it up. Because, you know, the million-dollar question is, is it going to last? I hope it does last. I hope this truce, them squashing the beat, does last. To set the example for our young folks. Aren't y'all tired of us killing each other out here? Our children. Don't you know one of the biggest fuels of the violence and the black-on-black crime and what's going on in these cities is no one can let go. You heard them always say, blood been shed. We, this ain't going to ever end. You just got a clear example of how it can. Back to my advice to NBA Youngboy and Fredo Bang. If something happens to somebody in y'all's camp, you understand? Don't be quick to judge and think it's the other side. The reason I say this is because that technique has been used before. Third parties will infiltrate this shit, do something to one camp, try to blame on the other, even send individuals in there to your camp to say this other side did it when it was actually a third party. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me give you one quick hint. Y'all know where I'm going with that. Huh? Come on, Pauls. Y'all know where I'm going with that. And what I'm telling you, young pharaohs, Use your own intel to find out what's going on and trust half what you see and none of what you hear. Because these third parties to do this, to pit black folks against one another, they some pros at it. Boy, y'all got to keep up with me. You know what I'm saying? You got to decode these words I'm telling you. I just told you a lot. Let me, let me leave that alone. Please, gentlemen, y'all make sure y'all keep that beat squashed. I salute y'all. 
I definitely have to say shouts out too to Big Homes over at the Big Fest Podcast and the great success of the No Negative News November campaign because you're not going to tell me that these are the results from that campaign. Set an example. Showing how you can squash the beef, how you end the beef. No negative news. One month after that in December, you see what happens. We have a major truce between two major camps in hip hop. And I hope it leads to more peace in the industry. Thank you for tuning in. God bless one team.